Hey guys, uh, real quick. If you're rebuilding a Spicer rear, uh, Spicer power divider, this is the D46 series. Uh, it's a 170. Um, you have to set your bearing preload. And in the books, what they tell you to do is this is all bench procedure. Uh, things to be stood up on end. Laying on the workbench, you can do them in a truck. When you, it's a pain to get this power divider in in pieces, but it is doable. You just got to get your pump lined up. If it's a pump system, get your pump lined up, get it straight up and down. Get your get a mark on your input shaft so you know that's straight up and down, and install your your shaft. Uh, Setting bearing preload on these. Take these down. Take your ring. This collar turns. Take your collar down until it seats. Don't ram her home, but just take it down until it seats. Get your old nut. Put your old nut back on and mount up a... Oh, jeez. I can't remember the name of that thing. Magnetic face style indicator. Start backing your locking collar out. What you're going to want for a spicer is between one and five thousandths. And what you can do is you take pry bore off your bottom cover. And you can get up in behind your nut, your old nut. And we're sitting close to zero, if that will focus, but it's sitting close to zero. And you can pry out on it. And if you see there, we are one, two, about two and a half or three, three. We're at three thousandths. Factory setting is one to five. So that's how you tighten them up. If you have a rear that's starting to, to wear out, you can pull that yoke off pull your seal out there is a pinch nut a jam it's an allen screw and it sits down in and it locks into your teeth here remove that seat your lock collar put your magnetic base in put your old nut on start backing it out and between one and five is what you want and you'll get a lot more life out of your power dividers guys all right, you guys take it easy. See ya.